We are here at ILMF 2018 over at the Dell Air booth with Chase Fly. Chase, how are you? Doing very well, thanks. So you guys just had a pretty big release come out. Can you tell us a few a few details about it? Absolutely. We've just uh, launched a new release of our LiDAR package. So we've got the Dallaire DT26X LiDAR. And it's a, it's a very uh, enterprise-driven package. It's a large uh, larger aircraft that is uh, fixed wing, capable of carrying um, a larger payload like LiDAR. What, what's really interesting or different about it, though, is we also put a camera in it. So we've got dual a dual payload. We've got a camera for RGB uh, photogrammetry data collection as well as uh, the LiDAR sensor from Regal. And so is this something that was developed in response to some, some feedback, feedback that you got from some customers or some folks asking for this, this sort of capability? Definitely. So we've, we've done a lot of LiDAR projects over the past several years. We, we had the Regal VUX-1 and in in our DT26X before. And we've had a lot of need uh, and project work on our services side where people wanted photogrammetry and LiDAR. They wanted true color point clouds or maybe they even wanted multispectral or something to, to do more analysis than, than uh, you can do just with plain LiDAR or, or plain uh, photogrammetry. So it's definitely a, a kind of a, a driven by demand and, and customer requests for, for more data and less work, right? So one flight, collect that much more data. Right. I mean, as opposed to using, to either not getting the, that, that info or using a different tool to, to grab this, you can do this with, with this one tool now. Right, exactly. Yeah, you'd either have to, if you're using drones, you might have to fly it twice or a manned aircraft. Obviously, those can do some more sophisticated things, but usually you're higher altitude, you deal with weather and things. So, so yeah, we, we believe we can get a lot more done. And with the long range uh, that we've got on that, uh, our communications allow up to 30 kilometer range. So in some parts of the world where, where they can operate beyond visual line of sight and they want to, that's been a fantastic uh, option. And it's got 110 minutes of flight time, so you can really get a lot done with with that kind of aircraft and those sensors in, in almost two hours with uh, uh, the, pay, the LiDAR and the camera. Is there a specific type of user or industry that you guys see this being especially applicable for? Sure, there's. Um, I think it'll go across a lot, but where we really see a lot of opportunities in forestry. Um, we also see it in utility work, you know, transmission lines, distribution lines, uh, corridor type projects environmental uh, where you really need to get they're trying to to classify vegetation or stratify vegetation um, looking at anything from hydrology work to uh, stream bed delineation wetland delineation uh, those sorts of applications I think are going to be uh, very interesting for this package Great. and is that available now where can people go to, to learn more about it you bet. So uh, we've got a bunch of collateral ready. The design's ready to roll. We're once uh, the Regal Minivux 1DL is in full production in April, we'll be able to put that together and, and it'll be ready to ready to ship.